I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It is February 9th, 2023. We take a look at satellite on this early Thursday morning. You see all of that moisture being drawn northward as our deep area of low pressure moves across Missouri and Illinois. That's why we have the gusty winds this morning, gradient winds. Gradient winds are created when pressure falls and rises rapidly. You have a tight pressure gradient between high and low pressure. That creates gradient winds, so we have some very gusty winds. As a matter of fact, overnight, some areas had 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts. Carbondale had a couple of 62 mile per hour wind gusts. Portions of southeast Missouri, West Kentucky, Northwest Tennessee had 30 to 55 mile per hour wind gusts. So, a very windy night, windy morning across the region. This storm system is pulling away. As you can see, the moisture is moving off to our east northeast some wraparound clouds for portions of the region today but we may even start to see some partly sunny sky conditions and it will remain mild today with high temperatures in the 50s let's take a look at radar so we pull up national radar and we see the rain pulling away from our region we did have one to two inches of rain with pockets of two to four inches across most of the area over the last 24 hours now the exception was portions of kentucky and tennessee remember i said yesterday our eastern and southeastern counties would not have as much rainfall many of those areas received less than one inch some areas only a quarter of an inch of rain not much but a sharp gradient as you moved towards the west northwest uh, we zoom in here on radar at about 5 a.m. and you can see a severe thunderstorm warning here in the red. That was issued. There were some warnings in Illinois and Missouri as well last night. Basically, these were for the strong and gusty winds that were accompanying showers without lightning. So I hardly call them thunderstorms. They are a convective nature uh, cells on radar, but not quite producing lightning. And then we see the wraparound moisture and heavy snow back here in Iowa uh, where some winter storm advisories and warnings have been issued. Now, we should have mostly dry today. That's the good news. And maybe a couple of showers this morning as this continues to exit. But then we dry out. And then we have a fast-moving system tomorrow that could produce uh, a couple of white showers or snow showers tomorrow, tomorrow evening, before we clear out. And then a dry weekend uh, for the region. So we pop on over and take a look at your seven-day forecast. And you can always see that on the two minute video as well. Take a look at your forecast. Windy today, the showers and thunderstorms that move through the area overnight will come to an end. That'll leave us with some clouds, perhaps becoming partly sunny. Still above average temperatures. Normal highs this time of year in the lower 40s will be in the lower 50s today. Wind gusts above 30 miles per hour at times tonight. Some clearing, patchy fog possible, low temperatures in the 30s. Tomorrow, a slight chance of rain, rain, snow mix, high temperatures in the 40s. Tomorrow night, some snow flurries or a snow shower during the evening for a few counties. Uh, overnight lows will be a little colder, lows down in the middle 20s. And then we take a look at Saturday and Sunday. Dry conditions, highs in the 40s and 50s, again, above seasonal averages. Look at Monday, high temperature 58 with some sunshine, thickening clouds as we move towards evening into the overnight hours. And then another good chance of showers and perhaps even some thunderstorms Tuesday, Tuesday night, and Wednesday of next week. We'll have to fine tune the exact timing of peak precipitation chances, gusty winds as well. We'll keep an eye on the severe weather threat next week. For now, it's too soon to know about that. And locally heavy rain next week once again will be a possibility. Many areas over the past 24 hours picked up one to two inches of rain with pockets of two to four inches of rain, except for our eastern and southeastern counties who received less than one inch, but that was expected.